get ready to dive into the blooming landscape of the Salsal Spring 24 release. Just like the blossoming flowers, this release brings a bouquet of delightful features for developers. Let's explore the top 10 features crafted just for you. The Migrate to Flow tool has been updated to support partial migration for most actions, excluding invocable actions. This enhancement offers users the flexibility to migrate specific actions within the tool. The migration results identify actions needing additional configuration in Flow Builder, ensuring a comprehensive and successful migration. To access this improved functionality, users can go to Setup, enter Migrate to Flow in the Quick Find box, and select the corresponding option. Users can then choose a specific process for conversion into a flow and initiate the migration. Selecting criteria for migration with clear indications of partial migratability in the migratable column. After migration, users can efficiently review results by clicking Needs Review, where actions will require an additional configuration in Flow Builder are listed. This streamlined approach enhances the migration experience, providing adaptability and transparency for users transitioning from processes to flows. Discover the key updates to the Lightning Navigation components, bringing increased flexibility in determining user destinations after specific actions. Let's take the following example. If you create a new contact using a quick action on an account page and save it, you'll return to the account page. On the other hand, if you set replace to true, the navigation changes. After saving a new record in a pop-up modal, you'll be directly taken to the page of the newly created record. This tweak in the Lightning Navigation component offers more flexibility in deciding where users go after certain actions, especially when adding new records. There have been quite a few updates to Lightning Web Components. The following are just some of these changes. The Lightning Data Table component introduces a new wrap table header attribute, allowing header text to wrap within column widths. The Lightning Input component adds a role attribute for creating accessible combo boxes. Accessibility behaviors are enhanced, including area attribute support and adjustments to the role alert attribute. Lightning Input field now supports multiple currencies, while Lightning Modal changes focus replacement rules, prioritizing the title text or the first interactive element. Lightning Pill and Lightning Pill Container components update keyboard navigation and remove button activation. Lightning Record Form and Lightning Record Picker include new behaviors related to multiple currencies and field level help. Lightning Tab Set gains attributes for custom assistive text, heading level, and visibility control, improving flexibility and accessibility in Lightning Web Components. Now let's delve into the latest additions and changes in Apex items, spanning the Auth, ISV Partners, Connect API, and System namespaces. In the Auth namespace, there are new tools for managing Auth tokens, including handling JWTs and revoking tokens. The ISV Partners namespace is designed for App Exchange App Analytics, with methods for logging custom interactions. In the connected API namespace, new or modified tools facilitate Connect REST API actions in Apex. The system namespace includes several additions, such as UUID generation and improved validation. In the compression namespace, there are tools for working with compressed files. Similarly, in the formula eval namespace, there are tools for evaluating dynamic formulas in Apex. All of these updates collectively improve Salesforce Apex by providing new functionalities in different areas. Enabling the new ICU locale formats feature in Salesforce is like using a magic wand for app development. It utilizes the powerful ICU library to format dates, times, numbers, and currencies based on users' preferences in different regions. It enables seamless switching between languages and regions, providing a consistent user experience. ICU locale formats offer a variety of formatting choices, ensuring that your app looks polished and accurate. This feature simplifies the formatting process, allowing developers to focus more on building essential features rather than dealing with formatting details. It's like having a helpful assistant that makes your app both visually appealing and functional. This security update enhances the Visual Force JavaScript remoting API by introducing JSON access annotation validation in Apex classes. This validation acts as a security guard, ensuring that unauthorized individuals cannot manipulate your data 
by relocating it across different packaging namespaces. Consider building a Visual Force app that interacts with Apex classes through the Visual Force JavaScript remoting API. Enabling the JSON access annotation validation feature serves as a protective measure, acting like a security guard to prevent unauthorized movement of your data. This is akin to securing a door to maintain the safety and integrity of your data, thwarting any attempts to tamper with it. This security feature not only safeguards your Apex classes from unauthorized access, but also prevents covert efforts to manipulate your data by restricting its movement between different areas. Salesforce introduces the Data Cloud Triggered Flow Debug Tool in Flow Builder, offering a dual function of testing flow behavior and troubleshooting potential issues. This tool allows users to simulate flow execution without affecting real data, ensuring accurate performance assessment before deployment or modification. To use this feature, users navigate to Flow Builder, select the desired Data Cloud Triggered Flow, and access the debug option. In debug mode, users choose a specific Data Cloud record to trigger the flow's assessment, enabling a step-by-step -step walkthrough of its behavior. Applicable in both Lightning Experience and Salesforce Classic, the tool provides a risk-free testing environment for users across all Salesforce editions. Its value lies in validating flow behavior without impacting real records, and it streamlines troubleshooting by efficiently isolating and addressing issues within the flow logic. Overall, the Data Cloud Triggered Flow Debug tool enhances testing and troubleshooting capabilities, contributing to a more robust flow development process in Salesforce. Salesforce introduces a beta feature called Scratch Org Snapshots, allowing users to capture a point in time copy of a Scratch Org configuration. This snapshot facilitates the streamlined replication of specific configurations for creating replicas of Scratch Orgs. It's important to note that this feature is in beta and users can choose to try it at their discretion with usage subject to applicable beta services terms. The significance of Scratch Org Snapshots lies in simplifying the manual and time consuming process of configuring Scratch Orgs with project dependencies. Users can enable this feature in their dev hub org and Salesforce CLI commands such as org create snapshot and org list snapshot can be used to manage and create snapshots. In essence, Scratch Org snapshots enhance efficiency by enabling the quick replication of Scratch Orgs with specific project dependencies, reducing the need for repetitive manual configurations. This new enhancement improves the functionality of Apex REST API responses by adhering to the rules outlined in RFC 7230. This ensures that API responses are correctly named and structured. Enabling the RFC 7230 header check acts like a traffic cop, ensuring compliance with standards when building an Apex REST API for Salesforce data. The goal is to foster compatibility with other applications, promoting consistency, clarity, and seamless collaboration. This enhancement serves as a smooth highway for communication, reducing errors and ensuring seamless interaction between your app and others. By incorporating this header, your API Apex REST API responses align with RFC 7230, enhancing consistency and facilitating error-free integration with other RESTful applications. If you use the Apex REST API and forget to say how you want the data by missing or messing up the accept header, don't worry. Now the API will give you the data in the default way, which is JSON. This change makes it act like other Salesforce APIs, keeping things consistent. Before API version 60, a request to the Apex REST API without specifying the accept header or with malformed header would result in an error response in XML format. With API version 60 and later, the default response in such cases is JSON. Here's an example. Let's say on API version 59 and earlier, you send the following request without specifying the accept header. You would get the following response. However, on API version 60 and later, if you submit the same thing, you'll get a different response. This change simplifies the behavior, making it more intuitive and consistent with other Salesforce REST APIs. Valid values for the accept header remain application slash JSON or application slash XML, and they are case sensitive. And there you have it, a whirlwind tour of the most vibrant Salesforce Spring 24 features designed exclusively for developers. Have you stumbled upon any hidden gems? Share your discoveries with us in the comments below.